Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career or money reading for the end of April right through the end of May 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Virgo, this is your career and money reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. Um, this reading, it will be good for the next six, maybe even eight weeks. And of course, we've just moved into Taurus season. So you may be a little bit more focused on your budget, repayment plans. Uh, it gives you opportunities to tap into the energy to increase your finances as well. So you may be coming up with new ideas of how to increase your wealth or exploring new avenues to uh, welcome in new money. So let's see what is coming in for you and how you're navigating this time period. Uh, the first card there is the Hierophant. So some of you are in a period of tapping into your inner wisdom to really know your heart, to realign with your goals and your dreams. And uh, the Hierophant indicates some of you are currently taking a traditional route to accomplish something. So you may be doing something very unique and different, but it's almost like you are finding um, an easier way to do something. It almost feels like it's tried, it's been tested, and now you're in the flow of doing it. Uh, some of you may even open yourself up to new skills or uh, learning something uh, to upskill in some way or get a new qualification or certification in order to be ahead of the competition in your industry. I definitely see uh, that there is new knowledge uh, there for you but also I feel that you're the sort of person that you're naturally very gifted at whatever it is that you do and also you're the sort of person that you could actually transfer those skills into creating like a course online to help people uh, know a little bit more about your industry or whatever it is that you do and as an exchange you could actually uh, you know have some financial recompense there you could put like a course of learning up there on some sort of study website and people could download your course because you have that much knowledge uh, as to whatever it is that you do and you could actually do like a how-to and then people would download it and of course you could earn some money from that as well. So I'm tapping into that energy at the moment. Some of you may even think about um, utilizing that skill set and having a second stream of income, almost like passive income. Once you get it up and running, it's just like ticking on in the background. I do feel like some of you are thinking about different streams of income. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you got your mind on that money there with that King of Pentacles. So this is about you uh, basically being very serious and ambitious over the next six to eight weeks there. And I feel, um, you know, you are focused on your budgets, plans, and, uh, you know, making headway. For some of you, there is definitely an entrepreneurial ship energy coming through. So it doesn't have to be that you're creating like a course of learning. It could be that you are implementing your knowledge and your skill set in order to diversify whatever it is that you're doing and, you know, create second streams of income. You have uh, six of cups there so that can indicate uh, you know duality sixes are duality cards uh, where it can be that there's something from your past that um, you may have been really interested in and you may want to re-explore it re-examine it and uh, an opportunity could actually come from it as well so if for example you've chosen uh, a serious career and uh, you also used to enjoy doing something 
else as a hobby, I feel like you could do both and uh, you will find a way to carve out space in order to give your time and attention to both energies and, you know, create more wealth there as well. Uh, I also see for some of you, there is an opportunity coming in. This could be from uh, a past person, could be like an old boss, or it could even be like an opportunity from an industry that you used to work in. I feel like there could be something coming back around and you're not going backwards. Definitely see you're not going backwards there, but I feel like you may return to uh, something that you used to love doing. Um, I feel also some of you, you know, it really is about doing what you love and following your bliss and your heart. So I feel like you're aligning yourself with that. And it's uh, a way of um, almost like May is a way of you finding the enjoyment of what you do. But uh, right now, looking at your energy for the majority of my beautiful Virgos, I feel like, you know, there's an energy here that, you know, uh, it's almost like you've hit a certain plateau in your career. You may feel that, you know, you have a lot of knowledge and a skill set that other people don't match right now. And it's almost like uh, I'm getting an energy of you being overqualified for whatever it is that you do. You may be looking at other people and seeing that they're not pulling their weight. Uh, they don't have the skill set that you have. Uh, they don't have the experience that you have. And uh, you may feel that uh, part of your skill set is not being utilized, or you may feel that there's unfulfilled potential there, and you may want to look at alternative opportunities. So uh, we will tap into that uh, in a moment. There is a new opportunity coming in, and I do see some really exciting news happening for you. You've got two pages here. Pages often bring news. So I definitely see that there's something very exciting coming in, something that you're going to be very excited and enthusiastic to explore. Um, and it could be the start of a new project or the start of a new adventure, a new venture indeed. Uh, some of you could be launching new businesses or setting up on your own. Uh, but let's get to the energy and see what's going Going on here. Uh, the Hierophant, it is your first card. So you are very intelligent, you have a lot of knowledge, and I feel like you have a lot of experience as well. This is a card also of you looking at your expectations, okay? So some of you are really checking in with yourself in the month of May and seeing if you're on the right path. I mean, having the Three of Wands, it tells me absolutely you are on the right path, but you may be looking at the financial aspect. Does it match what you are investing in terms of your energy and your skills? You may be looking across the board to see how you can increase your finances. Uh, so some of you may be putting your resume out there uh, to find new opportunities opportunities or just, you know, keeping your eye on the job market to see if there's anything that captures your attention. Uh, also with the Hierophant there, this is a card of mentorship. Uh, that's why I was mentioning, you know, you being a mentor or, you know, somehow putting like a course of learning out there. Uh, some of you, it could be that you're going to be writing a book or a presentation or uh, maybe, and this is not going to resonate with everyone, but I'm getting an energy that if you work for a company, um, you may actually hear from like a hierarchical system, uh, maybe your boss or someone who's a little bit higher up, and they're asking you to kind of list what it is that you do, your tasks. And you're like, well, you hired me, you should know what I do because you know what, you get me to do it every day. So I feel like there's this energy here of like, what do you do? Or could you list what it is that you do? Because I feel like there's a bit of a restructure going on. And they're trying to see how they can balance out the workload, because they may be doing some downsizing. Okay, uh, you don't need me to tell you this, but uh, we can all see that things are shifting in the job market. And that's going to happen throughout 2024 and 2025 there. Uh, some of you with the devil card, you may have been feeling a bit anxious about these restructures or these moves. Uh, but I definitely see that you're going to benefit long term. So even if you've come to this reading, my beautiful Virgo, and you're currently out of work, or searching whether you left a toxic environment, because some of you have been working in very high pressure, or toxic environments, um, you may have walked away from it, or you're thinking about walking away from it, or if you were made redundant, I definitely see that there's a couple of opportunities here uh, for you to uh, embrace. I want you to be aware that you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience. And actually, you're going to work your way up the uh, career ladder quite quickly, if you feel like you're moving into a new position. And I feel like there's more money available to you as well. There will be more responsibility, but it feels like a fresh new start. And for some of you, um, if you're deciding to stay where you're at right now, if you're in a company, I feel like there's some 
some new opportunities opening up. It could be like a new branch opening up for the company that you work at currently. Uh, maybe you'd be seconded to figurehead that new branch. Or some of you, you may be thinking about opportunities overseas uh, where the weather is better is what I'm feeling for some of you there. Uh, but ultimately, you're following your heart. And I feel there's also some really nice news that's coming in that you will kind of celebrate. I'm seeing two glasses coming together. They're clinking, so it uh, looks like celebration. I mean, they also look like cocktails, uh, what I see there. Um, would that be a cocktail? Yeah, I think, you know, that sort of like um, almost, it, it's kind of like... It's not champagne, but it looks like some sort of fizzy uh, kind of cocktail kind of glass is what I'm seeing. Um, not quite a goblet, almost like half size. I don't know if that's relevant, but anyway... Um, I'm seeing that as I'm scrying in the water. This can indicate something to celebrate, but it could also indicate some sort of work do, uh, maybe a party or a networking event uh, where there is an alliance formed. Um, it could also be uh, that you are maybe even celebrating a milestone in your career sector. Uh, they're giving me the word celebration. So it, it seems like it's really positive. It could also be that you're invited to something that is related to your industry or, you know, maybe it's even a work fair and you actually either may bump into someone that you know from the past and they have a lucrative opportunity to sort of run past you. Or um, I feel at this event, you may hear that there are some opportunities coming up because it's so random. I'm now seeing like a tomato with, uh, it's on the vine. Uh, so it could be that you hear something on the vine, but uh, it's normally on the grape vine, not on the tomato vine. Um, but I'm just seeing it as being relevant for some reason. I mean, it could mean that there's an opportunity ripe for the picking because it seems to be still on the vine there or it's in the pipeline perhaps and it's just about to be ready for you to step into. Could be a promotion, could be a raise. I mean, looking at this energy, it feels very much like um, it's almost like you starting something up. So you could be a maverick, figureheading something uh, very unique that the company that you work for is trialing or trying out. Um, and for some of you, if you're an entrepreneur, it could be that you're branching out and you've got some ideas bubbling away that are starting to become very fruitful indeed. I mean, uh, tomatoes, when you apply it to a career energy, um, symbolically, it means like freedom, knowledge, happiness, prosperity in business, uh, loving what you do, of course, because the tomato is always seen as like a, an indication of the heart. So it could be loving what you do. But ultimately, the main energy I've got for the majority of you beautiful Virgos is you know, cultivating your career, uh, you know, nurturing it, having patience in the steps that it takes to get to where you want to go, and basically investing a lot of time, dedication, and focus. And that's exactly what I see you doing there. Uh, now, of course, underneath here, it says connect to your inner wisdom, time to choose a new path or direction. So uh, this may not resonate with everyone, of course, but I see two pages here. So there's definitely some sort of new start. Now, this could come in the form of you, like, time up loose ends on a project in your current circumstances and then being on to the next project, something that's been, you know, going on for a long time. Suddenly you're finished it and it feels like a relief and now you're on to something a little bit more exciting. It could also be that you are embarking on a new journey in a new sector or, uh, you know, moving into a new position or even putting your resume out there to completely leave a position behind and using your knowledge and skill set in order to embrace a new adventure. Ultimately, uh, I feel like you're being called right now to believe in yourself, have confidence in your skill set and recognize that actually you have a lot of knowledge that other people don't have. Not only do you have knowledge, but you also have experience and you're naturally gifted as well. Okay. Now we do have the King of Pentacles. This is a card of being very serious, but also it tells me that many is going to be very busy for you. There's going to be a lot of paperwork to deal with, administrative tasks, phone calls, emails, you know the stuff. I feel like you're going to be super busy, but also super practical there as well. I mean, this is also a card of intelligence. You have a very high IQ. It also indicates you are super business-minded in the month of April. You're keeping your eye on your goals and, um, 
It also indicates that, you know, you are attracting more wealth. Uh, you are someone who is a natural born leader. So some of you could be stepping into that promotion or that raise energy. I feel um, that you are manifesting all that you desire, but you're working really hard for it. This is a card to stay focused on your everyday tasks uh, because I feel like you're being set up here for abundance or you're manifesting the conditions in your career that you've been hoping for and working hard towards for quite some time. But this is a card of experience, of leadership. So uh, I definitely see promotion vibes here. But some of you, you know, the three of wands here, it almost feels like um, you're looking for alternative opportunities, even though there may be a promotion on the horizon for you. So uh, I feel like you may be, um, and this may not resonate with everyone, but this is what I'm being given. For some of you, it could be that you're waiting to move into a promotion to get the um, title or to get the reputation for what it is that you do so that you can move on to a different company and get a better pay grade. So it could be that, you know, as soon as you are offered, uh, some of you are actually going to be offered a bonus as well. Uh, not all of you, I'm feeling about 30% of my beautiful Virgo are being offered a, a bonus in the month of May. This is something that may have um, been expected in April, actually, but I see it's late or it gets paid in May and you were kind of thinking it was coming in April, but it is coming. So I do want you to be aware of that. Um, but I see some of you beautiful Virgos almost like having your eye on a very prestigious role or title in order to just have that on your resume so that you can like springboard to somewhere else. So I feel there's a strategy here um, that uh, I see that you've got in motion and you will actually be really proud of yourself because you accomplish it, you achieve it. Now, of course, as I said, that's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, now, this card, whether you're in a career or not right now, you're looking for work. Um, the King of Pentacles indicates that you are implementing a very strict and smart budget. Um, you know, your money tends to come from really hard work and strategizing and, you know, your investment in not only your time, but also utilizing your education and experience to influence your circumstances. So I definitely see that you have financial wisdom. And um, I really get a sense here that you're going to reap the rewards of smart decisions, because I feel like you're making some major decisions over the next coming weeks and months. And you're actually going to align yourself with with exactly what it is that you'd hoped for. I feel like there's two opportunities coming in. So you will have uh, a choice. There is a pathway to choose from in May for you. Uh, one road almost leads to something that you have longed for for quite some time. Um, it's almost like a dream job opportunity and it feels very sort of settled. Um, it feels almost like a traditional route, but it's not quite. I feel you're still doing something different from what either your family did or uh, your friends do. I feel like you're taking, you know, a very interesting route. However, there is another opportunity being offered to you that's really exciting. It feels like every day is different. It feels like it's bold. It feels almost like um, you may even travel for it. But I feel you have to choose which one you want. Equally, they are very rewarding emotionally rewarding, financially rewarding. However, you may need to choose whether you want something a little bit more settled, a little bit more like contractual. And what I mean by that is something long term, where you know where your paycheck is coming from, from week to week. Uh, the other one feels a little bit more either nomadic or freelance or, you know, um, sporadic, okay, is what I'm seeing there. Uh, both will be financially very you know, sound long term, but uh, I feel one of them means that you'll like have different assignments. So uh, yeah, I, I get this energy that you'll have to choose. Um, now the three of wands is you aligning yourself with your heart's desire. But with that king of pentacles there in the hierophant, it really tells me that a lot of you are um, looking at where you've been so far and you may feel that you've been in a position for a long time and it's now time to step up, to move on, to, you know, see what else is out there. So that three of wands there, it does tell me that you're looking for alternative opportunities. And actually, if you haven't heard about new opportunities just yet, you're about to. May is a very ripe uh, month for you to basically reach out and... Um, 
explore a new one. I definitely get a new opportunity coming in that's going to make you very excited and enthusiastic about it to dig a little bit deeper. Uh, this card, as you can see, there's two wands behind this person and they're holding on to the one wand. That one wand is like you're ready to move forward with this because you've experienced so much or you've become so stable in a position that you feel uh, you've moved past it now. So that's your glass ceiling or you've plateaued in some area of your career. So it could mean that you're either approaching your job or your role in a different way, just to make sure it remains exciting. Uh, you may actually ask your boss, if you're in a company that you work for, um, for either um, some training that perhaps you've been longing for. Maybe you want to learn about a certain computer software program, or perhaps there's something um, else, another skill that you want to uh, add to your um, toolkit, let's put it that way. and. I feel you know you want to branch out a little bit. Um, for others, it can be that you know you've come as far as you can in this role, and now you're looking uh, elsewhere to uh, move your skill set so that you can elevate even further in your career. There, now three wands. Um, it is a great card because it means that you are kind of really self-sufficient and confident in what you do. It's taken you a while to do that. Um, with the Devil card present in your reading, it can also indicate that you are very uh, aware of um, either a toxic environment or toxic interactions between people in your current working circumstances. This could also be like a toxic industry where uh, they just expect you to be working really hard. It's highly pressured. Um, of course, you're serious about your role, but also I feel you want to do something where you also enjoy it, where there's camaraderie, where people support you rather than try and tear you down when they feel jealous of your skill set or jealous of the potential for you to move into higher uh, roles as you move up the ladder there. Um, with that devil card, also, you may be acutely aware that um, there's a very unstable job market at the moment, and you may be a little bit nervous about taking a leap of faith into a new industry. But what I see here with the sun card, you're going to be very happy and also very successful in it as well. Um, you'll do your due diligence because that's what this card is. It's like observing, waiting, paying attention to what's going on and being patient um, as you wait for the right opportunities to come your way. But also, it's a card of strategize. It's a card of things working out better than you expected as well. But um, I feel like you're making really great choices for yourself in your career right now. Now we do have the devil card here. It's in the resistance position. So some of you may have been feeling a little bit stuck. Okay, uh, but May is definitely the month to move forward with ambition. You can have more energy, more drive, more vitality. And that Taurus energy means you're going to be a lot more serious about um, your sense of value, you know, uh, making sure that no one underestimates you, undervalues your skill set, and making sure that you erect healthier boundaries as well. So we've got that devil card, which can indicate also that, you know, some of you may have been working in a very toxic environment. I mean, we've got the Six of Cups here and the Sun card also in the resistance position. So it can indicate that this toxic environment is draining your energy. You may feel that no one supports uh, your journey or really notices your skill set or appreciates what you bring to the table of your career. You're actually an asset to a team. You've got a King of Pentacles. People want a King of Pentacles on their team when it comes to work. Uh, male and female, not a gender specific reading but it's about the energy. So you're someone who um, is very gifted, highly gifted, and has the experience and the natural talent. And I feel some of you, uh, you've matured in your role and you may be starting to look at like new people being hired or other people being fired right now. And you may notice that perhaps there's a, a younger generation coming in. And uh, I also get this energy of them being paid less to do the job of what everybody else is getting right now because there's a major restructure across the board but I feel right now you're in control of whether you stay or go I feel like you're looking at alternative opportunities because you feel where you're at right now you're feeling a little bit stuck now this particular devil card, because that's the meaning of the devil card, devil card can indicate that uh, some of you feel like you have to hold out for something to come along and you're feeling a little bit helpless in your situation. You can't change it right now because you're bound to a contract or uh, you're bound to a situation that hasn't 
given you any extra opportunities. So you're having to look elsewhere at this time, even though some of you are like, you really enjoyed where you work. You really established yourself in this, but you feel there's no more room for you to maneuver. So you have to make that decision to leave. So it can be a little bit of a daunting time, but I definitely see uh, the devil card being in this position. It means you liberate yourself out of a stuck situation. There is a detachment, a freedom, uh, and an awareness of some toxic behavior or toxic practices going on there. For example, unrealistic expectations, expecting you to pick up all the slack if they're doing some downsizing, maybe making people redundant. Um, people like you and other people are actually going to be uh, given extra work, maybe not for extra money, and it can feel like a lot more pressure. So I feel some of you are uh, kind of readdressing the balance and just noticing what goes on before it gets too critical and you're making your decision before that. Uh, also the devil card, what I love about this particular devil card, because the devil card, it's not an evil card. Uh, everybody experiences the devil on their journey, okay? And um, it basically means we all get to a period where we feel a little bit stuck um, or we get a little bit obsessed about something and we feel something controls us and we want to be in control. Uh, sometimes it can also be with the King of Pentacles that, um, you know, um, if you're in a really great position, for example, sometimes really high paid positions, they pay you uh, a certain amount of money because uh, they want to keep you um, from moving towards the competition or, you know, it could be a dull or boring role where you're just on autopilot and you're not following your dreams and your goals. But, you know, the money is right and uh, you're building wealth. Uh, for some of you, it could also be that it's a toxic environment and they just expect you to put up with the behavior because it's a lucrative deal. So I feel some of you are just really noticing that right now, um, kind of like, paying a lot of attention to where you're feeling stuck in your career and uh, you're doing something about it. But this particular devil card, what I love about it is it literally says to follow your passions. Uh, it says, embrace your passion. Don't allow fears to hold you back or rule your actions. So I definitely see that there is something new on the horizon here for you. It's an exciting adventure and it's, a, it's an exciting time for you as well. And I feel you're liberating yourself. Um, the Six of Cups is a great card for it to sort of cover uh, with the devil card here uh, because the six of cups means you know the universe is sending you an opportunity and uh, I feel uh, you're going to grab it with both hands also the six of cups means balance so it being in the resistance position it can indicate that you're working with very selfish people or you're struggling right now in an environment that feels like it's just draining your energy and it's not supporting your uh, skill set you may feel that uh, you have unfulfilled potential and you're wasting your resources where you're at right now and you want to diversify or you want to uh, leave a position in order to embrace something new um, i mean the six of cups it is also a card of nostalgia. So it can mean that you used to enjoy something or uh, before some changes came into play or some restructures came into play, uh, you know, you were having happier times in the working environment and you kind of want to get back to those times. But actually you're building new memories, you're going to be building new experiences and you're going to flourish in your career. And those two pages tell me that there is some really awesome news for you as well. I mean, the Six of Cups, it is also a card of um, harmony in the working environment. Uh, I feel also, for some of you on a personal level, you're looking at repaying a debt. So some of you are looking at your repayment plans and you're going to be able to offer a little bit more money this month towards a debt. Um, maybe that's your goal. You will reach that goal. I'm seeing that there as well. And I feel... I'm going to pull a card on it. There could be someone from your past who kind of reaches out and um, I feel like they may be setting up on their own or, but there's a devil card there. So I just want to clarify this. Knight of Cups. Okay. So yeah, there's someone from your past. I mean, the Knight of Cups, when you apply it to a career reading, it means an offer that you're going to love, right? Uh, it can indicate that it's more in alignment with your purpose, that you're encouraged to uh, dig a little bit deeper in it. Uh, so it could be a friend who really cares about you. Um, I feel someone that perhaps you know from your past, or maybe even a boss that you used to work with from your past. I feel like there's an opportunity from 
from someone like that who reaches out and says, hey, Virgo, what are you up to? Because I'm about to start up this new company or, um, you know, there's a new role going at a company that I work at. So I feel like there is like on the grapevine kind of energy where, you know, something will be offered to you that is more emotionally fulfilling than where you're at right now. Uh, and you get to decide whether you take it because I feel there is a choice to be made and either choice for you is actually very workable and uh, it's very exciting indeed. Now also with the Devil card present and the Six of Cups and the Sun card, it can indicate that um, there's someone who is going to, let's put it this way, be unprofessional and perhaps uh, overstep a mark or a boundary. Uh, this may be at a work event. It could be someone who makes a pass at you or someone who kind of like expresses their feelings for you. Let me see how you feel about this person. So I feel like there's a potential here for uh, an industry romance. The justice card. You're going to do the right thing. Uh, I mean, the justice card can indicate that a truth comes out. Six of pentacles. Oh, okay. I mean, the devil card is there as well. So with the fool card, I feel for some of you, this could be that you're more thinking about, you know, your career path. You don't want to mix the two together because you feel it could muddy the waters a little bit. Uh, Ace of Cups, this person, I feel like they do have feelings for you. Uh, I feel um, it's almost like because of the cards I've got here, Eight of Pentacles, you're working on yourself. You're focusing on your career at this time. You want to hold on to your job or you want to hold on to your reputation in the industry that you're at. Um, I mean, the Moon card with the devil card and the fool card, it can indicate that um, right now you're unsure as to whether this would be a really good move. Uh, there's a lot of chemistry there, but you may be looking for love. And if you were leaving this role and moving into a new role, I feel then it could be a healthier love situation. So uh, if there's feelings there, you may explore them, but I feel like you'd only think about doing it if you were either in a different department or, you know, moving on to something else because I feel right now you don't really want to mix business with pleasure is what I see there. Uh, for some of you, uh, there could also be someone who crosses a line at a party or a work event and um, because the devil card's there, it could be under the influence of alcohol, for example. And then, you know, when you see each other the next day, it may be a little bit like, oh, okay, uh, a little bit confusing. The lines are blurred. So uh, that may be something you'll have to deal with in the month of May there. Uh, now we do have the Sun card. It is in the resistance position. So again, it's like you got it in reverse. And this is to feel drained, that uh, some of you may have been feeling unmotivated. Um, I feel like there's an energy here of having to maintain. So you've uh, kind of got to a certain position and um, you'll be really talented, really gifted, but the gift of perseverance needs to be present in order for you to keep on reaching your goals. Because, you know, life can be a bit of a repetitive cycle. And if you're in a role day to day and you're making it your own and you're very established, you also need to keep doing it in order to maintain your position and keep working towards success. So you may notice that you know, uh, there's a fluctuation there in your um, motivation, let's put it that way. But I feel it levels itself out because actually the month of May, you have a lot of energy, motivation and drive. Uh, but I feel there may be a bit of a fluctuation mid-month. Um, also with the Sun card in this position, it can indicate that some of you have... Um, been feeling a little bit down in your working environment recently. Uh, I feel for some of you, it could be that someone that you really gelled with is leaving or you're leaving. And, you know, it just feels like that alliance, you'll still be friends, but it just feels like it was really nice working with that person. And also I feel some of you are being drained by someone who's not pulling their weight. Okay. I feel like there's a very selfish energy here. Um, I feel that it almost feels like you're doing a lot and someone else is not. And there may be even the same like wages. It's almost like you're working really hard for what you earn and they're kind of coasting for what they earn and you want things to be a little bit more balanced. Uh, they will be because there is going to be a major reassessment in whatever industry it is that you work in across the board. Um, what else am I getting here? Okay, uh, this is a nice little surprise. I feel... Um, whether you work for yourself or whether you uh, work 
for a company, I feel someone is going to send you a gift. There's a gift here. Um, and you know, it just like lifts your spirits. So for example, if you work for a company, you could come in one morning and find a little gift or note on your desk. It's a note of appreciation or a gift of appreciation. Uh, for some of you, if you are uh, an entrepreneur and you work for yourself, it could be like a gift of appreciation from a client or a note or a good review, for example, and it's really going to put a spring in your step. Also, some of you are thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, being your own boss, and you're basically waiting for the right opportunity to launch a business um, or, you know, to branch out if you're already in business. But I definitely see um, the fact that you've got the sun card in the resistance position, like it's in the reverse there. Uh, it will go into the upright by the end of the month. But the fact that we have the sun card here, because this pile here, it's the resistance position, the things that you feel like you lack. You may feel there's no support. You may feel there's not much camaraderie. You may feel that, you know, overall you used to enjoy what you do, but now you're feeling a bit drained, a little bit on autopilot, and you're trying to find your way through a period where it feels like you're just work, 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 and um, it feels draining. And uh, with that sun energy as an outcome, it means that things are going to get brighter for you. Uh, things are going to start to flourish. This is a card of success. It's a card of clarity, but also it's a card of warmth and uh, basically um, attracting more abundance or being in the flow of prosperity. It says here, celebrate yourself. Oh, so I saw those two glasses, as I said, clinking. So that can indicate some level of celebration. It says, celebrate yourself, connecting with our inner child. Now, the fact that you've got two pages there, which are, um, you know, uh, the inner child, this can indicate that you are opening yourself up to uh, enjoying what you do or finding a role or aspects of your role that you do already that you really enjoy just to breathe a fresh new energy into your everyday circumstances. Because remember, you know, some of us, two, three jobs we have, uh, others, you know, you work long hours and, you know, there has to be aspects of what you do that you enjoy. Otherwise, it's time to, um, you know, put your attention elsewhere and do something more in alignment with your heart that you really enjoy. And of course, we all do jobs that we don't particularly love doing, uh, but we have to because we have to pay the bills. So I feel uh, some of you may be doing something that perhaps you're uh, using at this moment in time just to build a financial stable pot of cash in order to be able to go off and, you know, start up your own business or uh, do something that you're currently in the uh, process of setting up, or maybe you're doing it as a sideline and you're just waiting for the right moment to expand on it. But the Sun card, it's a card of success. So I definitely see you will reach your goal. Um, and also you'll be truly seen and appreciated for what you do. This is a card of shining your light and knowing that, you know, you deserve the best because you work the hardest. So... We've got the Page of Cups here, an offer, an opportunity to follow your bliss. Uh, pages, as I said, bring news. There's two of them here. So I would definitely say that you're going to have some uh, interesting knowledge and information coming your way that will open up some choices uh, to you. And um, the Page of Cups is really about being in the flow with your heart, visualizing what it is that you want for your future, because that page, the history of that card, the page looks in the cup. Uh, that is full of water and then suddenly a fish pops out and that fish it shouldn't be there it's not normally there uh, fishes in tarot and spirituality they mean uh, opportunity they mean abundance prosperity and being in the flow of um, what your heart truly desires so i feel there's a nice little surprise here and it kind of aligns with the six of cups which often means the universe is sending in um, you know a major offer for you um, it will bring peace I definitely see that you're going to work in an industry where you feel a little bit more supported. And also we have that page of wands. Now the page of wands is to do something bold and daring. Maybe uh, you're, um, you're figureheading, you know, some sort of new organization or a new business or a new project. 
Maybe even you are like going above and beyond and following your passions, uh, really valuing your ideas and dreaming boldly to change your circumstances so that your career is a little bit more exciting or, uh, you know, you're bringing a little bit more adventure into the everyday. This card tends to be the explorer. So you could be exploring new ideas or you are exploring uh, new places to, um, you know, run your business from if you're an entrepreneur. Some of you may be thinking about overseas. You may be thinking about what best for your business and um, some of you may be actually relocating because a new opportunity comes in and then you have to kind of be really serious and get your life in order so it's a dream job opportunity but it may require you to travel and uh, with that devil card there it could throw up a little bit of anxiety that you're going to be moving away from friends or family members ultimately it is the job that you really want but at the same time it comes with change so it can feel really overwhelming but you're going to find balance and you're going to make it work there um, you're going to follow the path that you truly desire um, also i'm getting an energy here of some of you with that king of pentacles i feel some of you are stepping into a leadership role or you are already a, a leader and you may be hiring new team members and i feel you may have to choose between two candidates um, and I feel you know there's one person that perhaps you know you really love um, in the interview but they seem a little bit like not as grounded as the other person and then there's one who's really really enthusiastic um, I know it feels like a lot of responsibility but you're going to choose the right person and um, I feel later on down the line if you actually have a boss yourself uh, you will actually like get praise from this person for who you're hiring um, also it could be that if you're an entrepreneur you're going to really look back at this moment and think you hired the right person if you're needing to fill a role there as well okay I do see a lot of responsibility for you this month in the month of May I feel things are actually going to be going at a nice pace um, I don't feel it's going to be too rushed I feel like you're going to have time to think things over it's a period of strategizing um, and uh, yeah, I'm also seeing, before I move forward, I'm also seeing in the water, it almost looks like a table or um, a list. Not, not like a table, like an altar uh, or a table, um, like a list or a table of names. And I'm seeing Virgo right at the top. So this could mean that you're in line for a promotion or uh, perhaps there's um, something that you're gonna be the first to be involved in because you have those pages as well. Uh, it could also indicate there's like a pool or a syndicate at your working environment. Maybe it's like a little lottery win that's coming through there because that uh, Six of Cups can indicate people working together in the universe sending a little bit of a surprise there. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else that could be. I mean, it could be an award or it could be a bursary or perhaps um, people are assessing what you're doing. Maybe you're going to have an appraisal of some sorts in the month of May and people are assessing your uh, ability to step into a role, but you seem to be first on the list. And it seems to be a positive list because, again, I'm seeing those glasses. It feels like you are celebrating it. You're first. Okay, so um, it could be a first that you're experiencing in your career as well. So please take it as it resonates. may not resonate with everyone, but that's what's coming through. We have stargazing. And it says here, realize that nothing is missing from your life. Aspiration, longing, goals, and striving. So that indicates that you're on the right path. You're aligning with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. It's not missing from your life. In the future, you have it. So it's completely aligned with where you are right now. And I feel like you are supported by the universe and you will actually obtain whatever it is you set out to. And also, we've got Moonrise. And it says here, you will rise again stronger and wiser. Resurrection, come back, rising above. So if there has been a setback, if something has been delayed or you have, um, you know, perhaps um, been made redundant or lost your job or you had to leave a toxic situation, remember, you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience and you will rise to the top of your game again. So um, hold faith. I definitely see that there is some wonderful opportunities coming your way and um, I see a lot of success for you as well. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I'm just going to go and get a trinket or a room before we close. Okay, so we have 
Um, so we have the bow and arrow, so that's really an indication that you're going to be right on target. Uh, things are going to be on the up, but also it could indicate a job hunt. Uh, some of you may be hunting for other opportunities, but you're going to find one and... I definitely see you're going to be right on target there. Also, some of you could be headhunted. Now, we didn't get the headhunted card for you, but it could be that, uh, I mean, to some degree, a friend or someone from your past who reaches out asking you if you want uh, an opportunity, it is headhunting. So perhaps that's what uh, the energy was, and I just didn't hit the mark on that. Uh, but I definitely see that you're going to be in demand. And, uh, of course, we have uh, the heart with the flame there. So that means following your heart and living your passions. And uh, basically, it's uh, finding the balance and moving towards, you know, innovating your career in some way, taking action, not overthinking things, and just um, embracing the moment and grabbing the right opportunities as they come along. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you, my beautiful Virgo. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo, and love and light.